This is Digital Stereo Guitar. We're looking at the Avid M-Box Mini today. Uh, so this is a great device for your audio recording. So it has a number of inputs for your plugging in your guitar, uh, keyboards, uh, it's got a MIDI input, those sort of things as well. Uh, and you can run this via USB into your computer, into your Mac or into your PC. Use it with tools such as Pro Tools or Logic on the Mac. Uh, and you can record a whole bunch of stuff. So let's go through the individual components of the Avid technology, Mbox Mini. So the unit on the front here has two input channels, okay? So they, these are controlling two simultaneous input channels that you can actually plug into your device via DI or via um, you know, an XLR or a, or a quarter inch um, instrument cable, uh, for example. Uh, you've got just a simple knob, for channel one to control it up and down. Same deal for channel two. You can pull it as well to minus the, the pad there at uh, minus 20, 20 uh, decibels. Uh, you've also got the overall mix, how much you want in your mix from your input, from your headphone jack. And then we've got a quarter inch headphone jack as well on the front to control that. Speaker, mute or not mute, okay. And then a big knob Nice padded material to control your overall volume, okay, for your jack here. So on the back, it's broken down to uh, a few different sections. Firstly is your USB port. So this is a USB, this is the port that plugs into your computer. So you run the cable, this is like a printer cable, a printer USB cable, run it into here, and the other end will plug into a normal USB port on your computer. You've also got your monitor outputs, so you can actually run in stereo or in mono, preferably in stereo, into monitors or into, into like uh, you know proper proper speakers, for example. Then you've got your first section. So this is channel two. This is channel one. So channel two, you can actually control. You've got a line or a DI input. Okay, you can actually control whether you want line to be uh, well out. DI is in, line is out. Similar. On channel one, you've got a DI input, and then you've got a mic and a line input as well. So you can switch between the mic, line, or the DI. DI for in, line out, okay? And then you can max it at uh, 48V as well, okay? So that is the back of the unit there. So simple, simple to plug it in. Grab your USB cord, and just plug it in. So once your drivers are all installed, and you've got your M-Box plugged into your computer. So I'm gonna be doing this on a Mac. A Windows machine will be very similar, but on your Mac, what you wanna do is you just wanna open up your system preferences and you'll have the Avid M-Box Mini in there. We can just close out of that. You'll actually get the window open up on here. Similar, as I said, on a Windows computer. This software uh, will come up once you've installed the installer software drivers uh, and the software that comes with it. You can also find the software on the Avid website as well. You can change things like your sample rate, okay? You've got a manual, you've got updates for the device as well, support, FAQ, registrar, etc. Package tells you the firmware version. Tells me here that it's uh, hardware is connected, okay? So when I plug it in, it's gonna come up connected. Uh, and that is the overall side on the, um, I guess on the Mbox Mini side. The next step would then be to get it to recognize on your actual software. Okay, so we're gonna, we'll look quickly through GarageBand and through Logic on the Mac. Again, it's gonna be similar through Pro Tools or another audio recording device on a Windows computer. So with GarageBand open, if all things have worked and your Mbox is installed correctly, you should be able to just go into the GarageBand preferences and under output and input devices, you should see your Avid Mbox listed in there. Okay, so by default, your system settings will be your speakers that are plugged into your Mac uh, or your microphone um, plugged into your Mac or your basic microphone that's built into your Mac or to your Windows computer. All right, so here we'd select if output. So output would be if I've got speakers plugged into those two monitor ports, right, into the, into the output speaker ports on the M box. Otherwise, we can just leave as built-in output, which will be my speakers that are on my desk, for example and input will be my M-Box, okay? And that will now set it and that will save. So that should then record from there. Very similar on your Logic. So if I open up Logic Pro, 
inside my preferences in audio, I've got in here my output and input. Again, I've got my inbox listed. So I want my input to be inbox or my output to be inbox and apply and that will do the change on that side. So that is really it on the software side. So long as you've got it plugged in via USB, you've got a nice light shining on the front of your inbox. It's showing up inside your system preferences or inside your device drivers on your Windows computer. Uh, and your drivers are installed, the software is installed, and your, your audio software programs can detect it. That should be all that you need. You can also use it for other um, applications on your Mac as well. So if you go back in your system preferences and you go into sound, you'll actually see your inbox listed in here under input and under output. So as you can see, you can hear me here speaking. I'm just using an internal microphone on the Mac, or I can just select Avid Mbox and that'll start using the microphone that's built in to the Mbox. Same deal with your output. You can actually select that. I've got my Apple TVs, my headphone jack, or my Mbox in there as well. So I hope you found that basic review helpful of the Mbox Mini. Definitely a device that I would recommend for your beginner, amateur, even some professional um, audio recording uh, guitarists, keyboardists. If you want to just fool around and just plug some microphones into it, run it through into your computer via Pro Tools or Logic, for example, and it can do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, there are alternatives, you know, to running from here. You can run directly into your input, into your, you know, to your monitor ports. Uh, your mic ports on your computer, for example, you're not going to get the same intensity, the same professionalism. You're not going to be able to control your knobs. You're going to get funky frequencies. So recommend something like this. There is a big brother to the Mbox Mini, which is just a plain Mbox. But for the everyday, two basic inputs, control everything how you want it. It's a fantastic tool to have. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Digital Stereo Guitar.